Hello everyone, this is Girish and in this video we will discuss another Kubernetes practice question for CKAD and CKA exam. Let's take a look at the question. In the default namespace, we have created two deployments, frontend and backend. Both deployments are exposed using cluster IP services. Create a network policy named FE-netpol to restrict outgoing TCP connections from front-end deployment and only allow those going to the back-end deployment. Make sure the policy allows outgoing traffic on TCP UDP port 53 for DNS resolution. So before delving into this question, let's try to understand what this question is asking and then we'll come back to the question. So when we deploy a Kubernetes cluster, the default settings allows all the pods to discover and communicate with all other pods in the system. And this could be very bad from security perspective because if somebody gets into your front-end pod, they can access every other pod that is deployed in your system and also communicate to the internet and download some undesirable executables. Network policy is one of the objects in Kubernetes that let you allow or block traffic to the pods. So it lets you control what goes in the pod and what kind of traffic goes out of the pod. There are two types, ingress and or egress. As the name suggests, ingress network policy controls the incoming traffic to the pod, whereas egress network policy controls the outgoing traffic from the pod. In a, in a web application setup, a very simple set, simple setup where I have a front-end application which is deployed as multiple pods in the front-end and similarly there's a back-end deployment where multiple pods serving the back-end application. These are exposed as a back-end service and front-end service respectively. A user traffic would probably come through an ingress or a load balancer hitting the front-end service which which routes them to the front-end application and as needed front-end would communicate with the back-end service and back-end service would communicate with your database, Redis or any other service that you have. Now if every pod can connect to every other pod then front-end pod would be able to hit DB pod or Redis or any other pods. And again front-end pod can actually download some uh, undesirable executables from the internet as well. So. This is a setup and we want to create a network policy where front-end pod can only talk to the back-end pod and no, uh, it cannot connect anywhere else. Let's take a look at the question again now. So we have to create a network policy and we will restrict the outgoing TCP connection from the front-end deployment and only allow them to the back-end deployment, nowhere else. And how will we test this? We can test this by running um, this is a sample test that I created uh, where we will be create we will check the existing services. In the Kubernetes test, normally you have two types of questions. A, where you set up everything from scratch, your parts, your deployment, your service and everything. Or B, a question like this where it says two deployments and the services are already set up for you. I don't have them set up, so what we will do, we will go step by step and set up these deployment, these services, check that we are able to hit from front-end pod, we are able to hit the back-end service, and we are also able to go out to google.com. And after we apply a network policy, we, our front-end pod should still be able to connect to the back-end service, but it should not go to the out, uh, should not be able to connect to google.com. So let's start, and what we'll do in my local uh, server, local Kubernetes cluster, we will create two deployments, front-end and back-end, and we also expose them as a service. So let's start from there. First thing first, I always do this uh, because in Kubernetes exam, every second counts. So whatever you can save even for typing, that would help. So, and second thing I set up is, uh, is, um, An export command which will export uh, which will help us saving the files as a yaml file so let's start with the first deployment we'll deploy the backend service first so let's see 
Backend service, we are using image my cloud tutorial slash PHP basic latest. Okay, so let's see. And be very careful when you set up your labels because uh, exam will ask you to set up the labels accordingly because labels are actually used in the network policies to, to determine which parts the policies should be applied to. So it's very important so that we, we follow the exact name that is given in the question. So let's start with the backend service uh, first and we'll backend deployment and then we'll come to the front end. So let's see, I'll say K create deploy. Name of the deployment is backend. Image I'm using is my cloud tutorials slash PHP basic latest replica is one so I don't have to specify it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to backend deploy dot yaml file then we go to the backend deploy yaml file and we see that everything is set up correctly except for the app backend that's a label so we have to change that label and and change the label on the parts as well. So what we have to do is we have to change that three or four different places. So a little bit uh, handy VI trick is you can do percent %s and then say app colon should be changed to tier colon and all of the occurrences. So if I do this, you see that all the app has been changed to tier this file looks good so what we will do is we will apply this before that let's see what are, what is running okay get all yeah i cleaned up this cluster uh, before this tutorial so there's nothing running right now so let's see let's apply the backend uh, let's create the backend deployment and the parts okay apply minus f backend deploy and it's fairly quickly my deployment and the pods are created now let's expose this as a backend service so what we'll do k expose deploy backend as a backend service so we'll say name is backend service and port is 80 since we are running the nginx image or sorry php uh, apache image so port is 80 and the target port is also 80. That looks good so what we'll say well, let's try to get the svc and also the endpoints so yeah our endpoint is created svc uh, service is created so backend service looks good so what we'll do is we'll test the backend service using a simple temporary port so what we'll say k run temp1 using the image busy box <clears throat> and this should have restart as never we do not want to hold on to this part so after this thing is run this command it should delete the part and what are we trying to run on this is we're trying to just say wget minus o and then backend service backend service and yes our backend service is connected and this is a sample output from a php a very simple php code that i've written so our backend deployment and backend services are working. Let's do the same for the front end. In this time, we will use the image as engines and tier will be front end tier as a label. You can also see the labels on the pod. Yeah, so we have our label tier as backend. So let's create the front end deployment. Okay, create deploy front end image in this case is nginx and let's save it to a file called fe deploy.yaml sorry so open the file fe deploy and we'll do the same thing since we do not want the app we want tier we'll just change this so once again percentage as app should be replaced by tier colon all the occurrences everything else looks good so let's apply this okay, apply minus f f e deploy let's check the pod and deploy
looks good. Let's see the labels as well. So yeah, my deployment has correct labels for front end and back end. Let's create a service for the front end and then test it. So we'll expose the front end deployment. Okay, expose deploy front end with the service with the name front end service. And again, it's a cluster IP. So that's the default. So you don't have to specify the type. Port is 80 and target port is also 80. Let's check the service and the endpoints. So we have the service and the endpoints both correctly set up and our service should be working. So what we'll do is we'll test again using the same technique that we used before. So we'll say, okay, run temp1, another temporary pod with the image busy box. <clears throat> and in this time we will again restart equal to never we don't want we want to delete the pod after it's done and then we've done the simple command front end service it should show us the default html from nginx and this is working absolutely fine next test we will do is we'll get into the uh, front end pod and try to access the back end service so we'll get the front end pod name here and exec into it and we'll run the message and then here we'll say curl backend service this should be working and giving us the uh, default php page which is great but what we try now is curl google.com and that is working too i mean it's redirecting you to the https page but at least we are able to get to the google and this is what we want to block with our network policy so we'll set up the network policy and come back to the front end uh, pod and see that this is restricted so let's create a file called fe netpol.yaml and what we will do is well i already created this so let's see uh, let's create f e we'll start from the scratch so that i can explain netpol and we'll go to the kubernetes documentation looking for the network policy documentation in particular and what we'll do is copy the sample network policy from here and then we'll change it accordingly to our need and if we see our network policies name was fe netpol okay so we'll start modifying this So this is front end netpol and where do we want to apply it to we want to apply it to all the ports where the tier is front end correct and then what's what's the type of policy we want to apply we want to restrict the outgoing connection so this policy we want to apply is egress what i'm going to do here is i'm going to change this to egress instead of ingress and then this will be a two and what what is what are we trying to do we are only trying to allow the outbound connections to backend service so we don't need this we don't need this either now where we are allowing the outgoing connections to to all the backend parts so what we'll say is tier has backend and we are allowing it to all the ports. So I'm going to get rid of everything after this. So what, what we did here is we are creating a FE netpol as the name they specified in the question. And this policy is applied to all the ports with the label tier front end because we are applying it to the front end as an outgoing uh, connection policy, which is egress. And what is the egress allowing? Allowing it to go to all the ports which are 
set up with the label tier as backend nowhere else but we're missing one point we have to also allow the outgoing traffic on the tcp and udp traffic on ports 53 so what we'll do here is we'll create another rule here which says ports and we'll say port as 53 and protocol as TCP and we'll do another item here with port as 53 and protocol as UDP this looks good so this when you set up its rule like this it's read as an or which says allow the outgoing connection to either ports with label tier as backend or allow the outgoing connection to the ports 53 with protocol TCP or UDP, which is used for the name servers. If you put a ports in here, as shown in the example for like here, in this case, what happens is it will allow you to connect to this port on these ports, which is what, which is uh, not what we want. We want them to connect to the backend ports and also connect to any other service which is running on 53, which is the net name service. So what we'll do is save this file. Let's see if there's any network policy. There's no network policy applied yet. So what we'll do is we'll apply our network policy that we just created. There's no error and this policy should be applied. Okay, so now time to test this. And what we'll do is We'll go to history and we'll run some of the tests that we ran before that these services should still be working as before. So let's see the backend service. Let's test it. It's working. Let's test the front end service. It's working as well. Now let's connect to the pod and run our test from the pod. We are in, so we are going in the front end part and we say curl backend service. That should still be working. It is working. And we'll say curl google.com. This should not work. So let's see. It's hanging, so it's not working. What we'll do is we'll do curl with the timeout setting so that we don't wait for 30 seconds. Minus and five google.com. So it should time out within five seconds. So it timed out within five seconds, it's not working. And that's it. I think we did it. We created a network policy that allows the front end ports to only connect to the back end service and it should not it does not allow the front end ports to connect to any of the outbound internet connections. And we can do the same thing for other things as well. For example, we can set an inbound connection or inbound network policy on the backend deployment where it only accepts connections from front end ports. Similarly, I mean, in this case, I mean, you can try it and we can have a network policy of ingress type and the port selector applied to backend deployment and only allows the connection from the front end port. And there are many other uh, tests that you can do. I think that's it. We tested this all and uh, initially the google.com was working but now a google.com is not and that explains and successfully uh, completes this question. I hope you really like it. Please like, share and subscribe for more Kubernetes videos. Please spread the word and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.